Before we get in the video, please like, make sure to subscribe, turn on your notifications, go ahead and leave a comment below. And click on the How You Can Help, which brings up the Family for the Game website and gives you lots of ideas how you can help us. Thank you. Stream for Dragon Quest Builders 2. I'm about ready to release the schedule um, online. Kind of what schedule we're planning um, for the week. And uh, I guess I can kind of tell y'all. I'm going to try to bring up chat. I guess I'm going to mention it. What I'm looking at. Um, resume play. Okay, it's raining on us. Let's see. Is it going to come up for me? Mm. Okay, maybe that holds things off. Or not, I don't know. So, try it one more time. My phone usually never, there it goes. Alright. So, I'm saying, help me build a village. Alright, so what are we supposed to do? Uh, he's got the big tasks. Who's got... Oh, here we go. Here's some little tasks. Here's a little tasker. We got so much more clean soil now, FG. The field even smells better, rich and earthy, not all rotten like before. I thought between you, a builder, and me, the finest farmer on furrow field, we have the perfect duo. But now the Wrigley in the mix, we've got the perfect trio. We can make as many fields as we want, but that won't help us if we don't have the seeds to plant in them. Brittany told me about the ruins of an old farm somewhere to the northwest on the other side of the mountains. Sounds just like a place to find some more seeds, right? Let me mark on the map for you. New destination. Okay, but looking at the time before I go. I think it's smart to sleep. There we go. Ah. Uh. All right, now it's morning. Oh, here we go. Um, how was it? All right, so we got some wheat. Here are wheat seeds. So, <clears throat> next to plant. Okay, we're out. Out of the seeds. So we're heading around the mountains. And try to get to
Uh, sluggy. What? My guy stopped moving for some reason. Alright, we're doing okay on food. Whoops. Up we go. One of the fat rats. Squeak, hi there, human. Are you looking for your friend? <clears throat> Just over the other side of this hill. But he seems to have gone a little crazy. Last time I checked, he was swinging his hoe around like a madman. Uh-oh. If he's not your friend, you might want to steer clear. You can always just go and have a look, but they don't blame me if he clocks you on the noggin with a piece of farming gear. Mm. Trying to figure the safe way down. Huff, what is this fiendish farmyard still doing here? Don't worry, I'll have the whole blast thing torn apart in no time. Hmm. I don't know who you are, but if you're not going to help, then I'd rather you leave me alone and let me destroy this place in peace. I beg your pardon, you heard there was an old farm around here? You're hoping you can find some seeds? Well, I expect this is the farm you're looking for, but don't worry. I'll soon have it completely obliterated. As for the seeds, I have some, but I won't give them to you. There is a... There's no, no nobler goal in life than wrecking ruin. You know, I'm sure the master of destruction himself is watching me right now as I smash this place to smithereens. All I can say is this. It's a small mercy this place doesn't have any of those accursed scarecrows. Those infernal puppets have some kind of dark power over me. Just one glance at one I can't resist tilling the soil around it. Confound my farmer's blood. Whatever you do, stranger, don't use that wooden workbench to build a scarecrow and then place it in the middle of the field. Don't even think about it. Wooden workbench. Oh. Talk to him. There's a chest. Oh, got some seeds. Hello there, human. I'm as hungry as a church mouse. Seriously, I'm starving, Squeak. I'll have these wheat seeds, but I get really blue when I eat wheat. I think I have intolerance. Do you think you could help me out? If you gave me ten cabbages that would keep me fed for a while, you can have these wheat seeds in return. Uh, and I cooked all my cabbages. Try mm. some dry grass. Come on. Alright, now we got enough. More than enough, actually. Ah, I should have had another scarecrow already. So if we... Place. It's quick, either human, the high minded, high brow, high class boy like you should have no problem at all with heights, right? Then I know a couple of tricks that are perfect for someone like you skills for swifty scurrying to the loftiest spot, squeak. Any adventure worth of cheese knows how to climb. After all, you never know when you might find the top of a mysterious hill. If you have a wall handy, you can put blocks against it and make a staircase. If not, you can build a tower by jumping straight up and putting a block under you when you land. 
Mastery this technique is the key to quick climbing. Give it a shot right now. There's a treasure chest above me. It's yours for taking if you can reach it. Ooh. Oh, I could have still along the wall. What was that? Seed of life. Squeak, very well done, human. Who would have imagined a seed of life would be hidden away in these old ruined rafters? Did you have much trouble getting up there? If you're still finding it tricky, just keep uh, practicing. You'll master it eventually. You look like something of an adventurer to me, human. Hopefully these climbing skills will aid you on your travels. I see the should be quite helpful, too. It has the odd effect of making you just a little bit tougher if you eat it. You'll find incredible items like this in the all sort of unexpected places, so don't be afraid to go exploring. You never know what you might stumble upon. They say the rarest, most valuable items are always hidden in the hardest to reach places. So keep a keen eye out on your travels. Hey, a quest complete. Hey there, Red Fire Pudding. Thanks for coming by. I got stronger. Interesting. I guess it's, it's connected, it stays. Okay. Let's talk to this guy. After I replenish my dry grass a little bit. I don't know, did you really put a scarecrow in the middle of a field right after I specifically told you not to? What What is happening to me? Okay. He is building. Eh, just as I feared, one glance at Scarecrow and I can't stop myself from tilling the earth around it. Oh, Master Destruction, hear my prayer. I have slowly my hands to the stand of creation. I beg your forgiveness. If only by your destructive grace, the field was not enclosed by wooden fencing. Were it so fenced, fear that I, that I, you didn't happen to spot the pieces of wooden fencing stuck on the ground behind this field, did you? Whatever you do, don't go and fetch the wooden fencing over there and fill the gaps and the wooden fence around the field. Do you hear me? No fences. Okay, where is it supposed to be hidden? Oh, back here maybe? Aha! Are you okay, honey? Okay. So, aha, we're fencing it in. One more. We learned a new recipe, probably a fence recipe. Wooden gate, okay. Wood fencing. Uh-huh. They, they craft, they be craft things. You put a fence around this field, didn't you? Why would you do that? No, it's happening again. Why? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I guess that was enough to plant the seeds. Ha huh, ha, huh. I couldn't help myself. I plowed every inch of earth inside that accursed fence. You slide it, I'll expect you working out how to build wooden fencing and wooden gates yourself, too. With gates and fencing, you can make fields of almost any shape or size. They are dangerous weapons indeed. O oh, Master of Destruction, hear my prayer. Once again, I have sought my bow with a sweat of constructive labor. I beg your forgiveness. What's that? If I want to till some more fields, why don't I go out and help out your farm? 
We try and apply. I'll have you know I'm a devoted disciple of children of Hargon. Ah, <laughs> this guy's hilarious. Let's take him back to the farm and turn him into a builder. Alright, weirdo. If you guys see it, hand him over. No funny business. We can do this the easy way or the fun way. Alright, alright. If you Here you go. They're all yours. Oh, ten wheat seeds. Nice. Brilliant. Looks like we got enough seeds to make coming out all the way out here worthwhile. Now let's let's get Tommy Tills a lot here, here back to the farm. My name's Clayton. I'll go with you. I'll help you on your farm. I'll do anything you want. Just please don't kill me. Okay. Quest complete. We also need ten cabbages. So we'll have to deal with that. What? Well, they all gone, and they're giving me seeds. Okay, just... Alright, dry grass is important. There we go. Oh, a wyvern. Ooh, he gave us... We learned a new recipe. Medicinal herb. Nice. Cool. Handy. Okay. Hey. So. Farm is somewhere over that away. That away, that away, that away, that away. Close to level four. Ba -na -na -na. Na -na 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 Drakes. There we go. Level up. Malroth gets, Mal gets stronger after he reaches level 4. His maximum hit points increase. Huh? Hey, if FG, defeating all these monsters made me stronger again. I can feel the power flowing through my veins. You don't seem quite so pumped up. I'm starting to get a bit worried about you. This sells it. You have to think up a trick so I can teach you even a weakling can use. How about this? Start by charging up your power with your sword arm. That's it. The better you're you're better at this than I expected. Now let it out with one giant swing. Let go for it. Haha. -ha. Yeah you did it. Not bad at all. Even for you. Remember just hold why the build power and then once it's all charged, let's go and unleash super spin attack. This should come in handy next time you're gonna fight. Learn spinning slice. Let's see if the let's try to use it. No, oh, ain't got a new recipe. Stone axe. Hmm.
Alright. Where's the farm? Is it up here? I think it's up here. Wait. We passed it. I went right by it. Okay. Seeds or oh, it's just gonna regrow. Okay. Oh my goodness. Unbelievable! Look at this farm. These buildings. These. Uh, these fields, this tree, truly such sinners are beyond redemption. Such shameless construction, such brazen building. The whole town sinks to creation. You're, you're heretics, a lot of you heretics and builders all. Gasp. Reverend, this man is a builder, a foul, irredeemable sinner. Do something to destroy him. <laughs> you could not have arrived at a better time, my disciple. You must work the fields here. You must till the soil and water the crops with neither rest nor respite. Not you, too. Why, Reverend, why? Very well, Sniff. I will join you on your den of in iniquity. Sob, I can't disobey the pastor's orders. Clayton joins the FSG team. We got another buddy. Another farmer. Yay, team. Go, team. Bye, friends. Oh. She's happy. Amazing. Great work, FG. You didn't just find some new seeds. You found a new friend, too. Clayton, just like me, a descendant of one of the Furrowfield's finest farming families. That must be why he can't help but plow any field he sees. I've been thinking, FG. We've been doing what, as the pastor said, and now you've got nice big fields and the date trees growing, too. But surely these three tasks you gave, he gave us can't be all there is to it, can they? It just seems too easy. So we'll just have to wait and see. In the meantime, let's build some scarecrows, tell more fields, and grow more crops. You could even try making fields into interesting shapes and sizes by fencing them with wooden gates and wooden or wooden fencing wooden gates. Try it out and see how it goes. Okay, he wants something, but before, I need to plant 10, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, buddy. The worm's hanging out. All right, that should be five. That should be ten. I wonder. Can I cook this? I can cook it. Oh, no, I can't. Never mind. I thought I could. Oh, it needs a little cook symbol over it. That makes sense. 
already had six cabbages. Don't, 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 don't. Oh well. So let's put that away. Put it away. Okay. IFG, I see improvements to my village are proceeding at a pace. And your skills as a builder are improving likewise. Wonderful work, lad. As builder in chief of our humble home, it falls to you, young man, to inspire us by ringing that great bell once more. Have you the power already, or will you need to gather more gratitude from the fellow townsfolk first? Well, I guess we'll find out. Should you fulfill our request, be a beautiful new buildings for us to use fields for us to tend. Our appreciation energy shall surely flow like water and litter the ground below. Speaking of which, it must be sometime it must sometime be a bother gathering up all the gratitude, must it not? I hear something interesting might happen if you give the builder's bell a short, sharp strike with your weapon. Give it a try and see for yourself. Well, let's try that. Alright, we got half of what we need. Oh, everyone showed up. Okay. Okay. What do I... Next level. I forgot how I did this. Oh, are really nice to have such lovely clean soil about. I'm heck of a happy to help. Never thought this day would come to the, be honest. Oh... If only my old ma and pa could have lived to see this. Oh, I'm sorry. When I was just a whippersnapper, they gave me these treasures. They have been ended down through the generations, so they have. Now, if it's you, I want you to have them. Yeah. Two balls of worm food. These balls of worm food are brill. Plop them down in the field, and we'll turn the area around them into livery green grass. The second... You put them down, I'll cover everything around them in grass, so don't be dropping them too close to your field, you hear? How about you both, you put both them balls of worm food somewhere close by and we'll have them all place looking green and grassy in no, t no time. Okay. You drag me here against my will, you force me to toil the fields, I'm a devout follower of the children of Hargon. Can't you understand this is a living all for me? Oh, wise and powerful master destruction. Please have mercy on the way we're children. What? What do you mean I looked like I was having fun when I was tilling the field? Speak for yourself, you, you builder. Fact is, if you love building so much, builder, why don't you go ahead and build us a barn? You say this is a farm. You don't even have one of the bare necessities. What you want is a room with a chest, a haystack, a set of farming tools, a coil of rope, some firewood, and a pot. Okay. Put it in a nice small room. Imagine a builder like you can't help if we had a huge hall. That tower over everything. But try a little more humble about it, will you? Hmm. Okay, so I am close. In this room. Because I have a pot. Just need. Alright. So I need some. Oh, better get this off. Mm, cook that. Alright, so. Farming tools.
Now, where's the haystack? This is good, I'm not cooking all the wheat. Okay, so, can I get a haystack in here? Um... Okay, let's still get around it. And the farming tools. Okay. Chest, a pot. What else did I need? Oh, I better eat some too. Okay. So I've done that. I've done the pots. Oh, the firewood. Oh, boy. Oh, the thing goes away. Small barn. Everything's coming along lovely, FG. We got our fields, we got our cabbages, and we got our wheat. There's something else we got, too. Hunger pains, you know, how we have cabbages are, but the rest of us ain't eat to chance to eat them yet. What we really need in the farm is a chest full of food. We'd be able to help ourselves with something whenever we're hungry. Please, FG, I promise... I'll never bother you for anything again. Just fill a chest up with 30 cabbages. Of course. Okay. So. Here's what I'm going to do. We're taking that thing down quickly. Uh, quickly. Ow. Eat that. Okay, then. So, one place wants ten cabbages, she wants. Thirty. The thing's still going. I should have gone to sleep so people don't die. <laughs> Man down. One of your friends has been knocked unconscious. So recover eventually if you leave them there. They'll be back on their feet faster if you can get them to a bed. Okay. Someone's out there fighting them. So like I'm a soldier, right? Building's not really my thing, but don't worry, we'll keep the crop, the crop safe from monsters. <sighs> Get up. We 
We got lots of wheat going. Cabbage is going. That's right, okay. So. I'm gonna take the. Ow. Okay, look you. So we're just waiting for stuff to grow at this point in time. Guess I can cook some more of it. So, I need to make a door. Hopefully enough wood for a door. Oh, more than enough. Okay, so... Okay, so... Oops. So I'm gonna make a bed, I hope. Yeah. I'll put the table in there, too. Okay. Oh, we got some cabbages ready. Oh. Okay. All right, so that harvests. And...
And it keeps growing. Alright, so I just need six more. And I can't do this yet. I don't know, they need to take the cabbages to the other... That fat rat. Guess I could. Oh, we can go up now. We have enough. Alright, level up the town. Base level two. Score! The residents become skilled at tilling fields. They were capable of crop waterers. Oh, we get more? Three more? Oh, population got bigger too. So more people came. There we go. Oh, some new recipes. Ah, very cool. Salad plate, bread basket, sack of wheat. Nice. Very nice. So work again. Ringing the bell. The builder's bell has made everyone better at building. I like that. Towel rails, clothes sacks, cloth sacks, and sacks of wheat. Wonderful inventions, all. This textile technology will no doubt prove invaluable to Furrow Field. You've done it again, FG, and this time, the sound of the bells drawn farmers' ear from far and wide. With new furniture, new farmers will be able to make Furrow Field farm even better. Go on, FG. Give our new guest a warm welcome. You don't get a second chance at a first impression. If someone turns up at your base with a marker over the head, they're surely come to help you out. Why not go and say hello? Well, mercy me. What in the world is going on here? Oh, my. A builder, you say. That type that sows desolation, desolation and despair wherever they go. <laughs> oh, my bad. Look at the crops are growing. Hargon's going to have your guts for garters. Come on, let's get out of here. We don't want to get mixed up in this. But don't you just have the urge to till the fields? Aren't you desperate to water those plants? Tee hee hee. You can tell these people are farmers at heart. They can't lay their eyes on such lovely soil without wanting to plow it. I can't abandon my faith, but I can't turn my back on such a fantastic, fantastic farm either. All right, we'll join you, but not a word to the children, all right? The Furrowfield Farmers move into Furrowfield Farm. The Furrowfieldian Farmers. Hope everyone's doing okay tonight, enjoying some uh, Dragon Quest Builder 2. All right, so... I need to go see a fat rat about some seeds. Got him. So it is over this way. somewhere. You do take fall damage in this game, so we have to be careful when we drop down from heights. Da, 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 da. Oh, wyverns again. Ow. Oh, another medicinal herb. Nice. Yes, I'm collecting weed. It looks that way, doesn't it? Ow. Oh, drakes. 
скорее. Move out. All right, let's get the big guy. Oh, hey, give me a seed. Handy. All right, buddy. Hey, human. Those look nice, juicy cabbages. You've got ten of them, too. Well, hand them over. Come on, I'm starving. Thank you so much. You saved my life, human. I might be a rat, but I'm true to my word. Here are the seeds I promised you. Sweet. Thank you. I knew you'd come through for me. After all, us rats and you humans used to be on the same side. Really? Interesting. I didn't know that. What? You don't know anything about it? Nope. Well, we actually, now that you mention it, I don't remember much about it either. Quest complete. Get all those hearts. Alright, and back to the town. We need to get 30... More drakes. We need to get 30 cabbages. Where'd the other one go? Oh well. I guess it's not important where the other one went. Is this an easier way through? Or the right way through? Alright, more drakes. Gone. And... I needed to eat something. So the town is... Over here somewhere. There it is. Hey, Red Fire Pudding. Thanks for uh, lurking. Uh, let's go talk to him. How can we praise the brown is just as I had imagined it. Uh, FG, I, I can't hide any longer. Ever since I came to this farm, ever since I saw the wondrous things you built, I've fallen in love with building. There's no point in fighting it. I'll just have to say goodbye to the children of Hargon and become a builder like you. Oh, great and powerful Hargon, I beg your forgiveness for the sins I am about to commit. Do not turn me into a dog, I pray. Well, FG, I hope this incident has proved instructive for you. If nothing else, you have learned the rooms can come in various sizes. I wouldn't be surprised if people partition you for rooms of specific sizes and furniture in the future. It won't be always be easy, but you should do what you can to accommodate the requests. Anyway, as proof that I no longer serve the children of Hargon, I would like to have I would like you to have these. I denied you before, but I shall do so no longer. Cabbage seeds. And wheat seeds. Nice. Quest complete. No, that's only the, um... The whatchamacallits I fight. The wyverns. He's glitching through the wall! Alrighty then. Hey there, Myra. I didn't realize you were lurking. Grumbling ghost, FG. It's clear your skills as a builder are greater than ever. The instant your hammer struck that bell, I felt myself overcome with creative energy. Ooh. Creative. I've been watching your building work with a keen eye, FG. By building your buildings and planting your crops, you have made our hopes and dreams a reality. With the gratitude we give you, you ring the bell and become 
a better builder ready to make even more of our dreams come true. What a truly wonderful partnership. I can only hope to continue to lead the people lead the people of our fair farm as our resident's benevolent builder. Complete. I know you guys want Oh, am I one shy? Oh, here it is. Got it! Mission complete. Yay! All of our hard work has finally paid off. 50 sheaves of golden wheat harvested and ready to use. Wheat has always been a symbol of prosperity here in Furrowfield. There's just so much food you can make with it. We'll never go hungry again. Especially now that you're here, FG. I expect that your skill as a builder probably extended to making delicious dishes, too. Oh, look, FG, the day tree. It's a growing. Ah. Wow, the day tree looks stronger than ever. Haglin Hillsimes, FG, you've done it. You've completed every one of the pastor's tasks. You have rebuilt furrow fields, fields, produced a bountiful harvest. The earth itself has been imbued with the power of growth. And it is this that has given strength to the day tree. In turn, the great tree will extend her blessings to your farm, protecting the fruits of your labor with her holy power. So the day tree gives strength to the farm, and the farm gives strength to the day tree. They both help each other. Indeed, very astute of you, child. But now you've outlived your usefulness. Your farming career ends here. Uh-oh. What is that? I jest, I jest. Keep your beards on. Our work is not done yet. After all, there is still more you must we must do to see the day tree attain her true form. There is, well, I suppose it all seemed a little bit too easy. Hey there, Bob Ross. If you wish to see the day tree restored to her full strength, you will have no choice but to work your fingers to the bone in her service. I shall explain to you soon enough what must next be achieved. But for now, let me bid you congratulations on a hard task well done. Okay, then. Sowing seeds is success. <laughs> uh, speaking's hard some days. Complete. Okay. I can sell, right? We'll have what we need soon enough. I need to get some more beds in there since we got more people. Hey, FHG. What? Everyone else the farm seems to be getting really good at making stuff. I mean, just look at these crops. I think I might be able to make stuff now, too. Let me have a go at that workbench. Oh, boy. Ha, huh, I think I'm the hitting it with a hammer stage down to a T. All right, and then... Huh? What? Ugh! I can't do it. Well, this sucks. I just want to help, even just a little bit. Oh, well, whatever. You stick to building, I'll stick to beating up monsters. Uh, oh, interesting. Okay, we'll deal with that later. I'll make two. Yes, two piles of straw bedding. Okay, so let's place, place, there we go. Oh, I need a torch in there too, I think. Where's the torches? Okay. Ok. 
Can I make it go up there? Oh well. Oh, they only place it there. Maybe right here. Okay. Oh, I already had torches. I didn't need to make more. Can I? Alright, let's put... S oh. Uh, I reordered things somehow by accident. Okay. We're putting away all that. Okay, it brings them together. Okay, that's cool. Well, that's something new there. Come on, Ansem, hurry up and put down the worm food so I can give the little village some nice new grass. And don't stop to... Okay. That's not good. So, not there. Not near the field. Maybe down here? Oh. Okay. Guess that makes them happier. Okay. Where are they all going? Oh, they must be enjoying the grass. Good then, you need... You didn't say another word, FG. I saw you squirreling away those cabbages for me. Well, you know, chests ain't just useful for storing stuff. You can use them to share stuff with us, too. I recommend you fill them with loads of lovely food. Ever since Chiller Argon banned us from making new things, we've been forced to rely on our andouts to survive. But, egg with that, now we can grow our own food and stuff and our gobs till we're fit to pop. Oh, by the way, FG. Those seeds you planted won't last forever. Once you harvest them enough times, they won't grow no more. So don't feel like you need to harvest everything just because you can. We can only eat so much, you know. Coming in a cropper. You'll get several harvests out of each seed just so at some point the seeds will disappear. If you want to run an efficient farm, try to take only what you need. Well, like, I have more than enough, so I'm not planning on taking more right now. He's got... Oh, come on. Alright. Good on, it's actually worked. I made a little village green of my own. Thanks, Ma. Thanks, Pa. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> not bad, Wrigley. We came in here to work, work out how to make the Isle of Waking a little greener, and it looks like we found our answer. 
Wrigley. Oh, here she comes. There's green stuff in the grass. Is this grass? Wrigley, did you do all this? I certainly did back in the day before the spore, spoil spores came. The whole of fur field was covered in stuff, and it was full of flowers, too. Ooh. You Wrigley's really are incredible. Not only can you make the earth clean, but you can make it green as well. You're going to play a key role in bringing this island back to life. I just know it. Seeing all this greenery has put, uh, put me in the summit of the farming mood, so to speak. I feel like making some more fields. Tell you what, if you ever need more space to plant seeds, just stick one of the scarecrows in the ground and I'll clean up the earth around it. Alright? I've been on the run a long time trying to wriggle away from the children of Argon's clutches, but if it weren't all bad, I'd learn a thing or two along the way. And I'm sure... You'll learn a lot too. That was the last time I wore food, but I'm sure it'll work out how to make it yourself one day. Then we'll make some serious green. Ha! <laughs> nice. Okay, completed that task. Alright, it looks like they're all sleeping. There one okay. Mm -mm. Alright, so this looks like a really good place to save. Yeah. Yes it does. So I'm going to save here and stop this stream. I'd like to thank everyone for watching. I hope you have a wonderful night. Or morning, depending on where you are in the world. Just remember that. Sorry.